is Heidi Thompson. I'm from Texas Children's Hospital in Houston, Texas, and I am a patient care manager. Today I'm going to talk to you about lifelong learning and the importance of it, especially as NICU nurses. When we come out of school, we know nothing about NICU setting. It's not something that we're taught about. And so as nurses, it's really important for us to continue to learn throughout our career. It's important as nurses for us to continue lifelong learning, especially in the NICU world, because of the technology that's always changing, things that we were doing today, we were not doing 10, 20 years ago. And it's complete, it's changing all the time. And in order to stay up and current on the most evidence-based practice, it's really important as a nurse that I take that ownership because I'm no longer in school to have someone teach me, here, here's your education plan, here's what you need to do. So it's really our onus to educate ourselves and so that we can give better care for our babies. So there's a couple of different things you can do in order to set down that path of lifelong learning. Um, like I said, it is going to be something you have to do on your own. You can't just wait for someone to give that to you. So um, reaching out to professional organizations such as NAN or even your local chapters, that or even reaching out to your unit educators um, reaching out to your peers, seeing what they did, um, how they went about it, and then when you attend conferences, uh, you're able to meet with various schools and figure out which program is going to be the best for, for you. Um, also, subscribing to journals is something another thing that's really important. I know everyone here is, oh, I'm going to go back to school, and how in the world am I going to pay for that? There's a lot of different options. A lot of organizations really want to promote education within their nurses, and they offer scholarships or some kind of tuition reimbursement within the organization or they have partnerships. Um, for example, some places call them academic partnerships where there's preferred schools that you go to and that will give you a discounted rate to be able to obtain, obtain that next um, education. And then also when you reach out in the schools or in organizations, they give scholarships to help you afford the education, whether it's to come to a conference or to continue education through um, higher education. So I know school is not for everyone. Not everyone wants to go and obtain those terminal degrees, get their doctorate, or even get their master's. And for some people, they don't want to go back to get their bachelor's. They're towards the end of their career, or they're just starting out and they're like, I'm done, I don't want school. So there's a lot of different ways. One of the best things you can do um, is by professional organizations, you can reach out to them. A lot of them have regular meetings throughout the year at the local level that you can attend um, and hear what's the most evidence-based on a specific topic. Um, completing your CNEs is another thing that's really important. Um, and then when you go to that national level, going to a conference and meeting with other nurses that are doing the same thing as you, they can really educate you to what is the best practice. You can speak to vendors that can tell you about the newest gadget that's coming out. You can talk to researchers who are here trying to find people for this latest drug or this latest product that is gonna be the best thing for your babies. So another way to continue down the lifelong learning process is not just going to a conference, but it's also looking and investing in things such as certifications. So um, I know for the NICU, there's a couple of different ones. You can get your RNC, you can get your CCRN. There's a little bit of different focus on what those requirements are. Um, there's also specialties uh, that are just now coming out for a neuro NICU certification and an ELBW. And really, what is your practice and what do you want? It's really up to you and what's gonna most meet your bit meet what your needs are. Um, they're both equally is the same. They have slightly different requirements. So it's really up to you as an individual to do that research. And a great person to reach out to would be someone on your unit, like your unit educator, who can tell you a little bit about the differences, what would be good. Um, they're both equally good. Another way to help, I know I spoke about it, is um, professional organizations. They're so important because, especially in the NICU world, you can go to a regular nursing conference and it's going to be most of those topics are going to be about adults and that doesn't translate into the NICU world so for us being involved in professional organizations is super important uh, because everything's geared to what our population is you're going to see those little tiny blood pressure cuffs or you're going to hear about here's this pharmacological medication that is at the right dose for us it's not how does it translate from an adult to a baby so really being involved in a professional organization helps because it gives you that knowledge. It's a, um, a network of other nurses that are doing the same thing that you were doing. And you can reach out on things, um, especially with NAN, they have the SIGs and you can reach out to there and read, put information out on there, ask a question. You'll have other nurses respond to you. So it's, it's really important for those professional organizations. So lifelong learning, you know, as Florence Nightingale said that we are not Learning never stops for us. We don't, once we get out of school, we're just, we're not done. Lifelong learning is extremely important, whether you invest in the local level or at national levels with conference, or you choose to take that next step to get your next degree. 
it's a never ending process for us. Once we say, I'm done, I don't want to learn anymore, we have a problem. We really have to continue to learn and grow to become better nurses so that we can give the best care for our patients and really impact their overall outcomes.